I'm Joshua Hanlon here at Bricks Cascade 2018, and we've got the Dupocalypse layout here. This is a collaborative build with several builders. So we're going to start with Boone talking about your vehicles, and then we'll have each builder talk about what they added to the collaborative. Yeah, so the first vehicle that I built here uh, is what I call the Outback Excite Bike. And uh, it's like a Duplo motorcycle with a Duplo driver, but you know, system brick and those jet engines and some flags coming off the back. And uh, then the second item I built here, I call Doomsday Delivery, based on the Duplo Pizza Planet truck from Toy Story. And it has Woody driving there. Uh, but he, you know, is on tank treads. We got some uh, an angry mouth of teeth on the front grill there, and in the back of the truck, and with some additional payload here, he's he's carrying, and I imagine he's he's uh, harboring the explosives for the team here in those brown crates. Uh, and then, of course, he's he's got the classic Pizza Planet Duplo brick, but he also has. A, uh, uh, another larger, more dangerous <laughs> rocket on top of the truck there. And then the last thing that I built here is a, a, based on a Duplo, a little Duplo bus, and I call this Epidemic Sound. And so this, uh, you know, you can imagine would be the, uh, the, the rig that's driving along playing, you know, the, the music that is uh, spurring on these forces to, you know, enact their <laughs> dastardly deeds. Uh, so I built all those little speakers there. And I, I imagine this guy would be playing like an electric guitar, but there's not a Duplo electric guitar. And uh, perhaps I will build one out of like system at some point. Yeah, it's so great. I just love the, the like contrast of the Duplo with like the apocalypse theme, and it works really well together. Yeah, I had uh, some Duplo cars that I had bought at a yard sale and had never done anything with. And Mark is really into like sort of you know post-apocalyptic stuff, Mad Max. We've got you know the Ready Player One stacks, and so this we kind of live in this mindset often. And I was like, what if what if we uh, what if we take these Duplo cars and turn them into like Mad Max style things? And then he actually ran with it and built the very first one. Okay, then we'll move on to Mark next, and you can talk about your builds. Yeah, the first one I did was the AC's Playground Crusher, and basically, like, I took the, like, Doom Buggy, or, like, the, I don't even know what it is, the Duplo, like, race car, and I kind of turned him into more of, like, a Doom Buggy. I put in the, like, the, uh, the Metal Skull Shifter, I got the Ram Horns out front. Uh, what we did was basically just use the minifig and the like the body style of it and i rebuilt the whole underside just to give it lift it up off the ground and like give it more of a meaner look and more apocalypse so we've got chains and spears and aftermarket lights and flames and spikes all the good stuff and spare tire and uh the other one so i did that one first uh and then i love doing this because there is no rules <laughs> at all and that is what i like building where it's just like uh this isn't right, but it's not wrong either. So uh, the second one I did was Kiki's Wasteland Salvage Truck. Um, little side note, both these are the nicknames of uh, these apprentices I have at work. So I thought I'd kind of throw them in. I name all my stuff after guys I know. So this is his. It's basically just this mean, like, wrecker truck. He's got the scoops on the front with the swords, uh, pirate flag, chains. He's got a bunch of just salvage stuff up here, the Duplo shovel and some tracks. Uh, we threw in the, I think it's, what is it, a V8 or something back here? I don't know. Extra fuel tanks, once again, spare tire. And then, of course, the anchor on the back just to drag him down if he wants to throw that down and stop real quick. So that's what I did. And then, so I started building them. Uh, Boone jumped on. It was his idea. It was a great idea. And I've, I love running with Boone's ideas. Uh, and then Brett jumps in, so we'll let Brett talk okay. about his. Get Brett in here. Sure. So I am the least mad of the Mad Max guys, <laughs> since I have not seen it. But these are my two. So I built this um, based off of like a green Jeep, um, which I ended up calling it that. And I started with this humongous train, uh, you know, cow guard kind of a thing. I was like, that would just be the great for ramming into cars. And since I had multiple guys, I'm like, well, I need to have a, you know, a pilot and then a gunner on top. So I ended up making this guy with the, uh, with the gunner. 
can do that. And then the second one was this pink car, which I love color, and I wanted it to pop and just be funky. So it almost came out like a beetle, and it's kind of got these spikes on the back. It's, uh, it's, it can reach out and just slice into the other guys here. I love the red spike panel on the back there. That's great. Yeah, a little Ninjago kind of thing. But yeah, it was it was like, man, this it had to had to have lots of color. So did you find it's difficult to incorporate you know, like normal uh, Lego elements with the larger Duplo like chassis pieces? With the chassis, yes, because there's only a few stud connections. One being right on top, and then underneath it had to sit on top of regular system bricks so that was a bit of a challenge I mean I've used regular bricks in stuff but these have far less and more curves so um, did a few of the sceneries the cactus and a few of these mounds um, just to add to it yeah very impressive so then I think Perry our final collaborator yeah. what do you have here so I was absolutely the last to the game <laughs> right and they said we're doing Duplo but in an apocalypse style I'm like no way <laughs> so I said I have to get involved so what I did was uh, this yellow truck called Hell Hath No Fury Like a Toddler Scorned. <laughs> and uh, here's a picture of the, the truck I started with. Basically, I, I immediately got on eBay because I didn't know where else to buy Duplo. And, uh, and I got this truck, and I transformed it into this truck here. So we've got uh, a rolling uh, uh, steamroller type thing up in the front here. We've got a teddy bear for uh, encouragement, or maybe it's a fear factor. I'm a little bit more fear factor with the skull some speakers to blare some rock. And then uh, we've got, what else here? Got the extra fuel tanks, things like that. Some other speakers, some uh, fire out of the back. And I've got a huge rake. Now, if you've seen the movie Mad Max, they use these rakes to kind of drag down the, the, the people that they've harpooned. And so I got that going. And then I had some leftover pieces. So I made a little remote control rover, right? And uh, this guy actually fits in the back here so they can deploy him. Uh, if they need to, right? Yeah, so it's a full package. It's got some green stud shooters, too. Yeah, yeah. perfect. I love the little rover in the back there as well. That's that's really neat. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, we actually had some interest from some uh, members after we arrived at the con, and uh, Daniel just showed up, okay. and he, he uh, had submitted one here. So let's talk to Daniel. Perfect, yeah. Let's get in here with your build. Hey guys, uh, so yeah, I was just talking with these guys here from um, Trotdale Build League about Duco, uh, Ducopolypse, and I was um, one to join. They're like, yeah, just pick up a du um, Duplo top frame of the car and just build a chassis underneath. So I thought of the Roadrunner ATV because I just picked up the ATV top body. And uh, late that night, I just went home and just built a bottom frame out of Technic and used my son's uh, Duplo minifigure in there. And then the rest was born. Next morning, I brought in and fit perfectly in the landscape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so. great. The, the great. This is a good example of how there's so many different, you know, variety of Duplo chassis and vehicles that you can get all sorts of cool-looking vehicles in the collaborative here. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's amazing that everyone has a different variety in the type. So I'm glad that it fits in with them and not was a duplicate kind of vehicle. So yeah, there you go. A well, great addition. Thank you. Thanks, so then the the banner Boone was that your work on the banner or who did that? Yeah. So I made the banner. Um, I wanted it to be recognizably Duplo but also you know rugged so I turned the red bunny brown gave him kind of ragged ears but I kept the red in the in the scarf on his face and I think who gave me the idea for the scarf yeah so Mark was like he's got to have a bandana on <laughs> and uh, Mark also we we thought it would be a good idea this is Mark's idea to put like like goggles on him like old style like welder or aviator goggles on him but well, I ultimately decided against that because he only has one eye, so I thought it would it'd turn out sort of strange. But then I kept the whole color scheme for the Dupocalypse that is in the Duplo logo, and then just threw it on top of uh, you know an image from I don't some desert uh, that I sort of vectorized, and and then we we printed it and mounted it. And we weren't sure what we were going to put it on. And, uh, you know, on one of our other backdrops, we obviously wanted to hide the 2x4s that it's mounted to. But for Dupocalypse, we're like, no, let's embrace the 2x4s and just kind of make this look like a signpost. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so that's how it all turned out. And it's actually four different screws mounted uh, to the mount the, the boards, uh, the board to the 
the posts and I was like, you know, this is perfect. Like, let's just get these in here and make them look awful. Yeah, it's, no, it's perfect. The whole thing turned out so good. I love the the merging of like the Duplo, so like toddler stuff with like the apocalypse theme. It's it's so cool together. So thanks for bringing all this stuff to the show, you guys, and thanks for chatting with me about it. Thank you so much.